For most of history, humans tried to measure intelligence with a single number, the IQ score, a neat little test that claimed to rank your brain power like a video game stat sheet. But as it turns out, human intelligence is far messier and far more fascinating. Instinctual intelligence. Before there were equations, emotions, or even language, there was survival. Instinctual intelligence is the oldest form of thinking, and you share it with every creature on Earth. It's the reason your heart races when you hear a sudden noise, why you duck when something flies toward your face, and why a mother bear will charge anything that threatens her cubs. This kind of intelligence doesn't think, it reacts. Scientists call it the reptilian brain, and it's been running in the background for hundreds of millions of years. It controls your fight, flight, and freeze responses. Basically, your body's emergency autopilot. But here's the strange part. Instinct still makes many of our decisions today. When you get a gut feeling about someone, when you sense danger without proof, or when you can't explain why you trust one stranger and not another, that's instinctual intelligence whispering from the ancient parts of your brain. Even in our modern world of AI and algorithms, instinct is what keeps you alive when logic freezes. It's fast, primal, and sometimes smarter than we realize. But to move beyond pure reaction, humans developed something new. The ability to remember and learn. Learned intelligence, the power of experience. Instinct can save your life once, but learned intelligence can keep you alive for good. This level of intelligence is built on trial and error. The ability to notice patterns, remember outcomes, and adjust behavior. It's how early humans learned that fire burns, berries can poison, and that one stick alone breaks easily, but a bundle of them can build a shelter. At its core, learned intelligence is your brain saying, I've seen this before. Let's do it better this time. You see it in animals too. A raccoon learning to open a trash can. A crow using traffic lights to crack nuts. Even your dog, who somehow knows that sitting gets treats. That's memory turned into strategy. And it's what separates creatures that react from those that adapt. In humans, this form of intelligence became the foundation of culture. Everything from cooking recipes to martial arts to the scientific method began here. As shared memory passed down through generations, it's learning, not logic, that gave us civilization itself. But learned intelligence can only take you so far. It teaches what was, not what could be. To truly innovate, humans needed a new kind of thinking. One that could imagine the impossible before it ever existed. Creative intelligence. The spark of imagination. Once humans mastered survival and learning, something new appeared. Imagination. Creative intelligence is the mind's ability to connect ideas that don't seem related and make something new out of them. It's why early humans looked at sparks from a lightning strike and thought, what if we could make that ourselves? It's how someone took a rolling log and thought, that could be a wheel. And centuries later, how Einstein imagined riding a beam of light and ended up reshaping physics. Creative intelligence isn't about following rules. It's about breaking them, or better yet, rewriting them. It's not limited to art or music. It's what powers innovation, invention, and even humor. When you come up with a clever shortcut, tell a joke or solve a problem in an unexpected way, that's creative intelligence at work. Interestingly, it often comes from mistakes. When your brain makes the wrong connection, it sometimes stumbles into something brilliant. Penicillin was discovered by accident. Potato chips were made out of spite, even the slinky? A failed spring design. Creativity is the only kind of intelligence that thrives on chaos. But as powerful as imagination is, it can also mislead. Because the same brain that invents airplanes also invents conspiracy theories. So humanity had to develop a counterweight, a kind of mental system of checks and balances. Analytical intelligence, logic, and reason. If creative intelligence builds ideas, analytical intelligence tests them. It's the scientist's microscope, the detective's notebook, and the reason your brain loves solving riddles. This is the kind of intelligence most IQ tests measure pattern recognition, logic, numbers, cause and effect. It's what allows us to calculate, analyze, and predict outcomes. When you balance a budget, solve a Sudoku, or figure out why your Wi-Fi isn't working, you're using analytical intelligence. It's also the brain's main defense against chaos. While creativity asks, what if? Logic asks, does it make sense? Analytical intelligence thrives on structure. 
It builds bridges, decodes DNA, and programs AI. But it can also trap us in our own patterns. Because pure logic struggles with uncertainty. And the real world rarely gives you a clean equation to solve. The truth is the most rational thinkers can make irrational choices when emotion enters the picture. That's because there's another layer. One that doesn't care about logic at all but still controls almost every decision you make. Emotional intelligence. The power of connection. Imagine two people arguing. One wins the debate with flawless logic. The other wins the room with empathy. That second person? They're using emotional intelligence. The ability to understand, manage, and respond to emotions, both yours and others. Emotional intelligence isn't about being nice. It's about awareness, reading tone, facial cues, and energy that logic can't measure. It's the quiet radar that lets you sense tension in a room, or realize when someone's smile doesn't reach their eyes. Psychologists say it's made of four skills. Self-awareness, self-regulation, social awareness, and relationship management. Put simply, it's knowing what you feel, controlling how you react, recognizing what others feel and using that to build trust, or avoid disaster. In workplaces, leaders with high emotional intelligence are often more effective than those with high IQs. Because facts don't move people. Feelings do. A good speech, a viral story, a powerful movement. All of them run on emotion. Even technology is catching on. AI systems now try to detect human emotion through tone and facial expressions. But while machines can imitate empathy, they still can't feel it. And that's what makes emotional intelligence uniquely human. Still, even empathy has a ceiling. Because beyond emotion, there's one final tier. The rarest and hardest to define, existential intelligence. Existential intelligence. The search for meaning. At the top of all human thinking sits a strange kind of intelligence. One that doesn't care about numbers, memory, or even emotions. It asks questions no other species has ever asked. Why am I here? What's the point of all this? And how do I know anything at all? This is existential intelligence. The ability to think about thinking, to reflect on the nature of existence itself. It's what gave us philosophy, religion, and science. All different ways of trying to make sense of the same mystery. Unlike logic or emotion, existential intelligence doesn't aim to solve problems, it aims to understand them. It's the reason ancient civilizations built pyramids aligned with the stars, why monks meditate for decades, and why modern scientists still chase theories that might never be proven. It's the rarest kind of intelligence because it doesn't guarantee comfort. In fact, it often creates the opposite. Too much awareness of your place in the universe can be humbling or terrifying. But it's also what makes humans unique. We're the only species that can imagine a future, regret a past, and still wonder if it all means something. When every other level of intelligence runs out of answers, existential intelligence begins to ask better questions. But that raises a strange thought. If intelligence keeps evolving from instinct to reflection, what comes next? The next evolution. From instinct to imagination, from logic to empathy, Human intelligence has climbed through every level, each one building on the last like layers of thought carved through time. We started as animals reacting to survival. Then we learned, we reasoned, we created, and finally, we questioned. Every level brought us closer to something we still don't fully understand, the source of our own awareness. But here's the unsettling truth. If intelligence keeps evolving, humans might not stay at the top for long. AI is already mimicking logic, copying creativity, and soon, maybe even simulating emotion. So what happens when something we built starts climbing the same ladder we did? And doesn't stop? Maybe intelligence isn't a human trait at all. Maybe it's a force, one that's still evolving, and we just happen to be its current form.